Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your May 2018 monthly reading. Generally my readings are love readings, so let's just see what comes up. We're going to get two oracle cards. If it pops out while I'm shuffling upright, then you'll get to see it. If not, then we will reveal it at the end. I kind of like to get the reading before the oracle card so that, so that we are, you know, we see if it resonates. I like that error, that feeling of dis a suspense. There's one. Oh. Look at that, you got one upright, beautiful. So, embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Embrace them. Feelings are real, they're meant to be felt. Acknowledge them, accept them even if they hurt and release them if they hurt. Don't deny them, they're real. Taurus. What do we have for Taurus for in May? What does Taurus need to know for the month of May? In regard, I do love reading, so we'll see what comes up. If it does, if this does not resonate with you, then it wasn't meant to resonate with you. Okay, just keep that in mind. This is for people that it is meant to resonate for. You're thinking about letting something go. Just thinking about it. Thinking about it. Trying to make the best decision. You know, you may be stalling making a decision. Maybe you're stalling. Maybe you're you're so undecided that you're trying to think of every way to stall this next step. But you can't stall it forever because, you know, some things need to happen. You know, maybe you just need to... make some compromises or you need to communicate. Communication is needed here. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Maybe you're looking for some more appreciation somewhere. You're looking to be appreciated. Or maybe somebody... Well, let me get some more cards. Yeah, it feels as though some there's been some sort of disappointment here. Maybe in regards to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Your intuition is telling you that you need to do something, but you're stalling with this decision. Maybe somebody has went backwards. And, you know, there's a run of bad luck here. And now you have to communicate. You have to take action. You've got to do something. And you need to do it now. Something needs to happen. It's time to make the clear choice. It's, it is. It's time to make the clear choice, even if it brings conflict. Okay? I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is probably very difficult to communicate with. And maybe, maybe that's you. Somebody doesn't want to communicate when they have to communicate, whether it's you or the other person. You could be dealing with somebody who's all talk. Um... You may be dealing with some unexpected conflict this month that forces you to make a decision that you haven't been wanting to make, okay? That's what it looks like to me. You've been stalling. You bet you need to make a decision. You need to do something. And it's, it's very hurtful. Whatever this decision is, it hurts. It's a difficult decision. It's causing a lot of disappointment. You know, you don't know what to do. There's been some loss. There's been some regrets. There's been some rejection. There's been some guilt. There's 
been some guilt. So you're stalling. You're stalling. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So it feels as though, you know, you've been trying to make use your intuition and make the best decision. But it feels like you have probably wanted to hold back and not communicate. But perhaps this month is the month where you need to say something. You need to communicate because you, this thing, is, like I said in the last one or one of my readings recently, it's out of your control with the Wheel of Fortune. Nothing has changed for the better. And now it's time for you to very quickly settle this. Okay, it is. It's time. This needs to be settled. I feel like it's time for a decision to be made. And the decision that you need to make, you know what you need to do because your intuition is telling you the answer. Okay, whatever this decision is, you know what you need to do. Okay, I know that you know. It's a difficult decision and it's probably not what you want. It's not what you want. You, you know, it's not, you thought that this was destiny. You thought that this was meant to be. Turns out it wasn't. So it's really difficult when you come to that realization that, oh my God, I was wrong. This really wasn't meant to be, but now I have to accept it and finally accept the truth as I'm clear. I'm clear now. I'm clear now. Yeah, I feel like it's time for you to stand your ground, stand up for yourself, defend yourself. You know, somebody has realized that their ex, and I'm sorry that we're bringing this up, is not who they thought they were, okay? They're realizing that they're not in love. They're realizing that it's not love. They're realizing that they're not in love with them. It's not love. They've come to this realization that this really wasn't meant to be. And it hurts. It hurts that you, you probably feel like, you know, I've wasted my time. I've wasted my time. I feel you may be angry or the person you're dealing with may be angry. They may be bitter. They may be hard to love. And I think that what happens here is somebody comes to the realization that there's no going back. It's, it's finally really, really over. Really. It is. It's over. The end, it's over. You've reached a dead end with somebody and you know it and it's there's no more denial here there's no more denial it's like you have been You know, you may be feeling discouraged at this time. You may be feeling weak. You may be feeling a lack of self-esteem and self-worth and self-confidence as you realize the truth of a situation, the real God's honest truth. That's what this is. That somebody didn't love you or they didn't reciprocate or they involve themselves in a third-party situation they are now dating or they're seeing other people and you come to this realization that it's really, really, really over. And I feel this is a real, real, real realization with the Seven of Cups reversed. Somebody has come to the conclusion that there's, there, it wasn't love. It wasn't true love and it wasn't destined to be. And I realize that now. So I feel like you guys may be deciding to put yourselves out there. Maybe you're deciding that you're going to date, you're going to go have some fun as you accept this dead end that you had been involved with, okay? There's emotions. There is. There's emotions this month. Somebody has come to a real, real, real realization that there's no more togetherness. There's no more appreciation.
appreciation for another person or that person doesn't appreciate you they don't see their they don't see your worth either way something is done over completed and I think it has to do with an ex I really do you know I think there's been some kind of realization that somebody it's over and I, and I know I'm repeating myself but I think that whoever you were thinking with, about while I'm doing this reading has moved on okay they've moved on And now it's time for you to focus on your future. Focus on your future. Find your inner strength. Find your inner power to bring balance and harmony back to your life. Whoever this person was, they were more than you could chew anyway. Okay? Whoever this person was, they weren't stable and secure. They weren't. And now it's time for you to, to realize what it is that you really want, who you're looking for, what you're looking for make plans for the future and and not settle wait for it to happen be patient set your intentions for what you're looking for and it will come okay i feel like somebody has been left out in the cold and now they are letting their own insecurities hold them back. Yeah, but you're, it's time for you to make a conscious change and love yourself. This is what's happened here. And that's what's going on. You guys are releasing the past for real this time, right? For real. You've come to the conclusion. You've seen something that, that, or heard something about this person that you're thinking about that allows you to truly say goodbye. That's what I see. It's like I am making this change to finally let this go. I'm never going to pick it back up. I'm never going to think about it. I'm going to let it go. It's never coming back. I realize that. I'm going to focus on my future. I'm setting my intentions for something new. Because it's time to bring back balance to my life after this time of chaos and feeling left out and feeling alone and having these regrets and, you know, feeling rejected, okay? I feel as though the lot, you've been concentrating on the loss for too long. You come to this, you see something or you hear something that makes you really realize that there's no going back. So you decide to make a conscious change and only focus on your future. Now you set your intentions fully on the future. And as you do that, you work on yourself. I feel like you guys start to enjoy life more than you ever did. It's like I, I am so happy with where I'm at right now that I am so good that I don't even need to look back. It's like I am so happy with where I'm at very comfortable with myself I'm working on myself I'm loving myself you're set you're building your your healing you're building your self-esteem you're building your self-confidence you're building your bank account you're building everything you're changing you're evolving you're taking care of business on your own and you're loving it that's what's happening there's a conscious change here somebody is making a change that they have been holding on to okay somebody has been holding on to probably an ex either emotionally or whatever or another person and they are deciding to drop it I'm done I'm not ever going back there I'm not I'm truly never going back there I think that there's some uh, uh, event or not even event I don't have a tower card there's some sort of news that you receive that gives you the power or the ability to finally say truly goodbye okay 
I feel like you're going to receive, somebody's going to come rushing in with some gossip about this person you're thinking about. It's not really gossip, but they're going to tell you exactly what the hell's going on. And you're going to be like, at first it's probably going to hurt because there's a lot of emotions here. You're probably going to, at first you're probably going to be like, <gasps> but then you're going to be like, this is what I needed. This is what I needed to move on. So I feel like you embrace what you hear. I do. I feel like you embrace what you hear. You hear it here. Here you are embracing it. Okay? So you embrace what you hear. And I feel like you decide, okay, it's time for me to drop this. It's time for me to let it go completely and set my intentions for the future. Completely. Okay? I feel like somebody has been left out in the cold by somebody that they've been thinking about, completely left out, just totally left for dead. And you finally come to the realization that it wasn't true love. I can't control destiny. It's over. Yes, yeah, somebody's releasing. They're giving up. I'm not going to fight for this. It's over. It's done. It's time for me to be happy. I'm going to bring happiness back to my life. I'm not going to engage in this, this feud. I'm not, that, that, that happily ever after with that person is gone. It's over. It's done. There's no happily ever after there. It's time for me to go find my own happiness and bliss. I've been enlightened. You have. You've been enlightened. Somebody has uh, come in. You know, misery loves company. They're probably miserable, so they probably come in because they want to make you miserable too. So I feel like somebody comes in and gives you some news that pushes you in the true direction that you are destined to be in. Because you were... You know, I, I, this is not making progress, and I feel like you were making progress. You go, you go in bouts. Progress, no progress. Progress, no progress. Progress, no progress. I feel like you guys were making progress with your healing, but you needed this information to completely let that dream die. To realize that this once upon a time was never going to be successful never it wasn't going to lead to success and victory and so whatever this person comes in to the whoever it could be an air sign or a fire sign somebody is coming in to bring you some news that you know changes your life and and i feel like they're doing it out of they're miserable they're doing it out of misery but this is actually a blessing because it's what you need to truly move on. To let it end. To complete that cycle. It's time. It feels the, like it's the ultimate betrayal. And now you've reached the end. So I feel like this is a month of you receiving some news about somebody that you cared about. That... truly enlightens you to the point that you realize this was not love it isn't love I release it I'm letting it go there's no future there it's over and I feel as you do that you will be calling in your ultimate happily ever after. Okay? You will be. But you have to free yourself from the false bonds before this can come in. Before you can get what you deserve. I feel like, and that's why this is all happening. Because it's all a process, right? Something is coming about probably, you know, end of April, beginning of May that opens your eyes to the real absolute truth of whoever it is you've been hung up on 
And as you realize this truth and you accept this truth, it pushes you over that finish line that you have been teetering on. And I feel like it enlightens you to the point where it brings you closer to your ultimate happiness and what you deserve. It's going to bring you what you deserve. Could be a Capricorn. <laughs> I feel like you're about to embark on a brand new journey. Brand, brand, brand new. Okay? Without knowing the outcome. But on this journey, you are going to get what you deserve. You have avoided a huge disaster with whoever this was that had a huge ego and didn't fulfill your wishes. You've avoided a disaster. I feel as though you are going to have a new offer of love, or maybe even... Yeah, you are. I feel like you're going to have a new offer of love as you decide to come out of hiding and you decide to put yourself out there again. Really, really put your as you're open, as you open yourself up. There's going to be a new offer of love for you, Taurus. But the thing is, is the universe, and this is the universe, wants you to close the door and lock it to the past. Lock the door and throw away the key. And so I think that's what's happening here is they are giving you the deadbolt, you know, so that kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's like, go lock it. Because this is the information. I think you're going to receive the information that allows you to throw away the key. Throw away the key. And as you accept this, I think that it also allows the universe to bring you the happiness that you've been seeking. And I think there's going to be a new offer of love as you decide to finally come out of hiding and you realize the truth. This could be somebody from your past and I have to clarify somebody from your past because people get this wrong. This could be somebody that you're just familiar with that you've met in a past life. You've never met them in this one. People, I'm sure somebody will comment underneath, oh, I don't want nobody from my past. Did you not hear what I just said? This could be somebody that, from your childhood, this could be somebody from your, um, that you have dated before. This could be just an acquaintance that you knew. This could be somebody from your hometown, okay? Somebody that you know is probably going to be the one that brings you the happiness that you seek and offers you love. Now, the readings are fluid. I'm recording this on April 16th. This could resonate now. All the way through May. Even into June. Because we're all on different cycles. For me, I have thrown away the key. Have you? Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. You're going to feel a bunch of feelings. As you hear or see something that probably, it may break your heart. It may cause a shock. It may really hurt. That's an emotion. When that happens, embrace it, feel it, accept it, release it, and move on. Because there's a lot more happiness right in front of you. This wasn't destined to be. 
Whatever it is that you need to actually step over the finish line. It wasn't destined to be. It wasn't the love that you deserve. Because you deserve more. Fourth chakra. Archangel Raphael. Do you know what this one is? This is the heart chakra. I love. I love. I love. This is about self-love. And it's about love. Once you put yourself in that spot where you love yourself enough to wait for what you deserve and not allow anyone to mistreat you, that is the ultimate self-love. And when you have proven to the universe that you love yourself to that extent, that is when they will bring in your true love. But you have to prove it. You have to prove that what you're worth. So I feel like this is a month of realizing, accepting, letting go, saying goodbye, and new beginnings. All in one well, could be six weeks, because I, you know, in this period of time, put it that way. Be prepared. If you haven't thrown away the key, if you're still angry and bitter, then you're not here yet. You have to let go of the anger, you have to let go of the bitterness. And you have to calmly step over the finish line and say goodbye. Knowing what you're worth will bring you the best possible option that you deserve. So, I think that somebody is returning to your life that you are meant to be with. And it could lead to a solid, happy relationship. If You've thrown away the key to the past. Talk to you later.